In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. My brothers and sisters, as we prepare to enter this most holy and sacred of all celebrations, let us pause calling to mind our sins. And so we pray, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need, may at your prompting discern what is right, and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. Ahab sent to all the children of Israel and had the prophets assemble on Mount Carmel. Elijah appealed to all the people and said, how long will you straddle the issues? If the Lord is God, follow him. If Baal, follow him. The people, however, did not answer him. So Elijah said to the people, I am the only surviving prophet of the Lord, and there are 450 prophets of Baal. Give us two young bulls. Let them, choo let them choose one, cut it into pieces, and place it on the wood, but start no fire. I shall prepare the other and place it on the wood, but shall start no fire. You shall call on your gods, and I will call on the Lord. The God who answers with fire is God. All the people answered, agreed. <clears throat> Elijah then said to the prophets of Baal, choose one bull and prepare it first, for there are more of you. Call upon your gods, but do not start the fire. Taking the young bull that was turned over to them, they prepared it and called on Baal from morning to noon, saying, Answer us, Baal. But there was no sound and no one answering. And they hopped around the altar and they had prepared. And when it was noon, Elijah taunted them. Call louder, for he is a god, and may be meditating, or may have retired, or may be on a journey. Perhaps he is asleep and must be awakened. They called out louder and slashed themselves with swords and spears, as was their custom, until blood gushed all over them. Noon passed, and they remained in a prophetic state, until the time for offering sacrifice. But there was not a sound, no one answered, and no one was listening. Then Elijah said to all the people, come here to me. When the people had done so, he prepared the altar of the Lord that had been destroyed. He took 12 stones for the number of tribes of the sons of Jacob, to whom the Lord had said, 
your name shall be Israel. He built an altar in honor of the Lord with the stones and made a trench around the altar, large enough for two measures of grain. When he had arranged the wood, he cut up the young bull and laid it on the wood. Fill four jars with water, he said, and pour it over the burnt offering and over the wood. Do it again, he said, and they did it again. Do it a third time, he said, and they did it a third time. The water flowed around the altar and the trench was filled with water. At the time for offering sacrifice, the prophet Elijah came forward and said, Lord, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, let it be known this day that you are God in Israel and that I am your servant and have done all these things by your command. Answer me, Lord. Answer me that this people may know that you, Lord, our God, and that, that you are our Lord God, and that you have brought them back to their senses. The Lord's fire came down and consumed the burnt offering, wood, stones, and dust, and lapped up the water in the trench. Seeing this, all the people fell prostrate and said, the Lord is God, the Lord is God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep, Keep me, me safe, safe O God, God you, you are my hope. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord, my Lord are you. Keep me safe, safe O God, God, you, you are, are my hope. hope. They multiply their sorrows with other, with, who court other gods. Blood libations to them I will not pour out, nor will I take their names upon my lips. Keep me, me safe, safe, O Lord. O God, you are, you are my, my hope. hope. O Lord, my allotted portion and cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. Keep me, me safe, safe, O God, God you, you are my hope. hope. I will show... You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. Keep, Keep me, me safe, safe O Lord. God. You, you are, are my, my hope. hope. my God, and guide me in your truth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen. I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass away. Until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so, will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
got Elijah. And of course, you've got the, the people that are torn because, of course, Queen Jezebel has a, a, just a, a nasty temper and they don't want to set her off. And so they're kind of tepid about doing things. That's what, that's what he's saying. Stop straddling it. Turn to God. Empty yourselves into what God has given you and God will give you everything in return. Basically, I will be your God and you will be my people. So he gives them the commandments. But they just kind of like, well, we've got this lady over here. It's just nasty. And we've got God over here. So. And that's why he says, no, stop straddling. Stop straddling. And of course, we know, and this is one of my favorite passages, he calls down fire from heaven. He calls the Lord, Lord, please, to consume these things, even after they've thrown water all over it and everything. And of course, fire comes from heaven. And then we have this, which is the end of the Sermon on the Mount. And the Lord tells them that you must be attentive to the law that I give you. But he's, he's saying that because he is also the law. He is the one who gave the law in the first place. And he, is, and he now shows them a new way of living the law, law that also includes, includes mercy and compassion. So he shows them this new way. Does he fling down fire from heaven? No. But God did something greater than that with the 12 apostles. He brings down fire that inflames their hearts and souls for God. That same fire that we celebrate every time we celebrate the Feast of Pentecost. That same fire that every time we celebrate a baptism, that same fire, that same seal of the Holy Spirit happens at, as, is given at baptism as, we are, as, pre, as Jesus was anointed priest, prophet, and king, so may you live and act. And that in confirmation, they are sealed with it. They are marked forever. It is seared on their heart and their soul. They become one with Christ. And yet, the call of what happens in the world today continues to have them straddle what they receive in confirmation and what the world has to give. Because the devil shows us all sorts of sparkly things in this day and age. And technology is nothing less than wondrous and soon 5G and automatic cars and uh, all this stuff because of this new technological technology about this new kind of artificial intelligence. And people are fascinated by that. But unfortunately, what happens is they all turn out this way because their fast, the fascination does not have them turn in here where everything begins. Our heart, our soul is where Christ, we meet Christ face to face. One of my students that we had when I was at St. Thomas More, uh, he said, Father, I'm going... I was going somewhere, and he said, I'm going there. Why don't we go ahead and drive together? I said, oh, great. He said, I'll take you. Okay, great. I'll... So jumped in the car. He didn't have a radio. He didn't want a radio. I said, oh, you don't want a radio? He said, no. When I'm in the car, I want to be able to think and to pray. And I thought, how refreshing to think and to pray. I remember mowing the lawn. We didn't have... We, we didn't even have little cassette things with the, with the headphones. And I was alone in my thoughts. And it was wonderful. God touches us in our thoughts. The Holy Spirit inspires us in our mind and in our heart to look at life in a different way. And today, as Jesus reminds us that not every, any part of the law will pass away, but understand that I have come to fulfill the law and the prophets. And he did. And he now gives us a way of looking at the law that also includes compassion and great love. And unless we live like that every day, even if we come to Mass and we don't do it, that's straddling the fence. 
Well, I go to Mass, and I really like it, because I also get to receive the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. But, you know, I really like all the technology in the world and everything. You and I cannot straddle the fence. We have to do exactly what God asks of us. And what's been shown to us in the Old Testament, turn to what he gives us in the Holy Spirit. Turn to that which inflames our hearts and set us afire with his love. That we may always understand that he walks with us in an extremely special way and that we are the first understanding of intelligence that he gave us. The ability to think in abstract ways, in a variety of things that no other creature on the face of the earth can do. But oftentimes we take that for granted. We only do it in the workplace. We don't allow ourselves to be open to the promptings of the Holy Spirit in our prayer life. The Catholic Church has a rich treasury of prayers. But if we're rifling through our prayers, there's no time to meditate in the prayer process. That's why the rosary for me is a meditation process. If I do it for in public, I understand that need, especially if it's a vigil for a deceased. But for me, praying the rosary is a meditation. And I know that the Blessed Mother prays with me, so I enter more fully into those mysteries and an understanding of what they not, not only were 2,000 years ago, but what they mean for me and others today in our, my life. So today, we're called to stop straddling between what the world offers and what God offers. Trusting our Heavenly Father is always attentive to our needs. We stand to bring our prayers before him at this time. We pray for the church. May the Lord persevere and protect her. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of the world, may the Lord nourish them in virtues and selfless service. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. From all who suffer from war, oppression, or any sins against justice and humanity, especially the sin of um, I'll think of it here in the next prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us here, may we be sanctified by the sacrament we receive and have the grace to persevere in faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that we may honor all people of race or color, all people, that we may not be given give in to the sin of now ask me what it is. Racism. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we remember all who have died, especially on this day. We remember uh, Jack Kimmis, for whom this Mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Ever living God, hear our prayers and grant all of them we ask you in your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the your goodness we have received this gift of bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. 
Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this gift of wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be acceptable, an acceptable oblation to you, and lead us to grow in charity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself. By the blood of the cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he was exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power, God of might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was, he, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, our beloved patrons, St. John the Baptist and St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, blessed Stanley Rother, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. May the sins of the world have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
of Christ. Body 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 of Christ. The body of Christ. Oops. The body of Christ. 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 Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. 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 Bless you, Amen. Bless you, Amen. Bless you. Body of Christ. Bless you now and always. Body of Christ. 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 Body of Christ.
Let us pray our St. Michael the Archangel prayer together. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we, we pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil and lead us to what is right through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May every blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. As the 